EA Sports. It's in the game. Compa Peso, hay algo que le quiero decir a esa morra que está ahí. Tú eres un 10, pero sigues con ese tipo. Que no te llega ni a los pies, y ni parece tu tipo. Muchas fotos de vacaciones por allá en Tulum, pero sé que tu cora no te hace turum turum. Bebé, estabas perdiendo el tiempo. Qué bueno que... Well, the weather forecasters promised us an agreeable day for football, and that's exactly what we've got. I'm Derek Ray, and sitting next to me with his tactics charts at the ready is Stuart Robson. And we've got action from the foot squad battles coming right up. It's the Dons versus the Hurricanes. Thanks, Derek. Well, both managers will be reminding their players of starting the game quickly, hitting the opposition back, playing the ball forward, and regaining possession as quickly as possible. Hopefully, we get a really good game here. And here's how it looks for Dons. 
Luke Shaw starts alongside Manuel Akanji in central defence. Bernardo Silva plays with Christopher Nkunku in the engine room. And the story in attack is one of a strike partnership. And to look at the starting 11 for the Hurricanes. Well, 3-5-2 is a great system if you can get control of the midfield because your wing-backs can then play higher up the pitch and the front two can combine as a pair. But they need to dominate that central area. Can he take the chance? Nicely saved. A deft clearance. Jota. The supporters want to see him have a go. Can they forge ahead? They do! And you've got to say, they're good value for the lead. Well, as you can see, he gave the keeper no chance there. He looked so confident, didn't he? That's a cool finish. Well, the Hurricanes get things restarted. Will they be able to come up with a reply? That's exactly what they need. Well, no wonder we're singling him out. 49 goals for the club. Will he make it 50 today? Well, he can certainly score goals in so many different ways, but his greatest attribute is his ability to find space in the box. He's a really good player. Quite possibly a yellow card as the flow was stopped. Well, the referee has taken note of his name and number. Well, I think he can count himself a bit unlucky there, but it was certainly a foul. <laughs> and goes for goal! Decent technique, but the goalkeeper did his job. Real determination in the challenge. A throw in here. Well read to ease the pressure. Wilms. Now the Hurricanes have it back. Getting in there to intercept. Pascal Gross. Bernardo Silva and the Dons losing possession Kewell crossing opportunity well, a bit short with the clearance Madison it's a perfect challenge. Wilms. Manuel Akanji. And he takes it away. Well, very close to half-time now, and it's a narrow lead for the home side. Stuart, how would you assess what you've seen? 
Well, I think they've been the better side in this first half. They've defended well, they've looked dangerous in attack, and they've controlled the midfield. It's been a solid performance so far. And support available. And just one minute of stoppage time, say the officials. I think they were expecting a bit more from that attack. That is that for the first half here. So back in business, the Dons with the advantage, but they know the job is far from finished. Bad challenge, and now it's up to the referee in terms of what to do next. Well, it was apparently a bookable offence. Well, no debate over that one. It's a yellow card all day long. Pretty comfortable piece of defending. And a strong tackle. That's what you call defending from the front. Possibilities here. You certainly have got to give this man high marks for his work up to this point, Stuart. Well, I thought he had a really effective first half. Not only did he get the goal that gave them the lead, but his general play was really good. He was a constant threat, and I'm sure we'll see more of him in the second half. Well, nicely cut out. It's one thing to sit deep, it's another thing to sit that little bit too deep. Diogo Jota. And it might be, and a goal to increase their advantage to two overall. That little bit of a cushion. Now it's all about keeping the concentration. Well, just look how he holds off the defender. He keeps his balance and he still hits the target. What a good goal that is. Two nil here, and the ball is moving again. Gunter. Thirty minutes left for play. Manuel Akanji. James Madison. Now with Silva. A well, fine use of the ball. Really poor timing, and some will argue that he was asking for a yellow card. And that is going to mean a caution. The referee is absolutely right. He knew what he was doing there. but not quite yeah he's hit it well but I think he always knew that was going past the post he's a bit unlucky really perfect challenge Teammates available. Alex Greenwood. 
20 minutes to go in this one. Wasteful from the Dons. Eva Payor. On to Gross. He's in here. And a goal! He's put it away! A celebratory moment! Well, just look at how poor the defending is here. But I have to say, it's still a very tidy finish. He looked really assured there. game continues and the Dons really bossing the proceedings that's useful play but nothing comes of it Alex Greenwood So almost at full time, and the home side very much in command. Stuart, what have you made of their overall performance? Well, what can you say about this performance? They've been absolutely brilliant. They've played with such guile and creativity, and their passing has been so expansive. Not many teams would have stopped them today. And the Hurricanes have possession again. And foul it is then. So two minutes of stoppage time here. And Kunku. Loves to cut in from the wide areas. And still danger here. And there it is, the final whistle. The home fans are going to be happy with this result. Well, it was a very assured performance, wasn't it? I was particularly impressed with their play going forward. Really lively. All